Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here with your daily business tips video. Now, in today's video, I wanted to talk about the five pillars of building a successful, particularly online business, right? So uh, this is a video I had to kind of sit down and think about, right? Because there's so much going on right now. Like I've just, uh, I've just uh, relaunched a new home landing page, right? Uh, I'm recreating my, my blogging strategy. Um, I'm reviewing my, even my live videos, um, format that I'm currently doing because it's good to jump on and it's good to talk and to give information but obviously having a little bit of structure and a little bit of format to what you're actually doing so there's a rhyme and reason to what you're doing right so I didn't really have time to sit down today and study like I typically did and come up with the topic so I was trying to think of a way to bring you guys some real value and I thought what, what better way to do it than to actually give you the first lesson or at least give you an overview of the first lesson uh, that I talk about in the eight steps <clears throat> of building your million dollar online business. Okay, so this is basically a formula that was handed to me by my <clears throat> by my mentor, right? Where he's given me eight steps to follow that helped him build a business from zero to one uh, to over a million dollars in 18 months, which is if I don't know about you, but for me that's pretty damn impressive. So I, today I wanted to give you the first, the five tips of building a successful online business, right? And the very first thing is to pick a profitable niche. And what I'm talking about is actually knowing your audience on a deep level. I'm not just talking about some rehat shit that you find on like a thirty, you know, like a seven dollar ebook or a fifty dollar uh, ClickBank course. I'm talking about picking a prof profitable niche, something that is actually valuable, where there's basically an audience that already know exactly what it is that they want, and they're actually hungry to get involved. Like for example, basketball, which I love. Obviously, I'm wearing a basketball t-shirt right now, but they talk a lot. Um, there's a lot of talk about different players and different teams, and so there's a lot of support already, right? But, but one thing that all basketball players want to do is jump higher. They want to run faster. They want to move laterally better, right? So, you know, like the perfect product for that niche, if you can build up to it, which I plan on doing in the next sort of 12 to 18 months, is you can sell like uh, jump, jump programs, if you know what I mean. So right there and then, you're, that's that's your profitable niche, okay? So it's it's great, for example, I'm, I'm sure you, there, there's someone out there who loves you know, deep, deep water, deep water diving using, uh, using snorkeling gear. I don't, I don't know. Sorry. That's the first thing that came to my head. Terrible example. But my point is, is that that is a niche, but it's not profitable, right? And there's probably a market there, but you're probably not going to make a lot of money. So it's better off to pick a profitable niche. That's actually going to help you, um, make some money. And in order to do that, you need to know your audience on a deep level, right? So you really need to look at what it is that you're actually doing. Tip number two is to build you Inc, right? So building your personal brand. Everybody knows that I'm huge on this and I talk about this all the time, right? Because essentially what, what most people do is when they come online is that they build the, um, they build the brand in which they're promoting, right? So they talk about this company, they talk about this product, and they talk about, oh, you know, join me, join my Bitcoin company because if you join us, you get you get $20 worth for free and blah, blah, blah. Like, and that's, I mean, it's not, it's not okay. It's terrible actually. Right. So, um, Hey Peter, how you doing? Thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate you. Um, but so what you really want to do is you want to build your brand, right? Because what that actually means is that by building yourself up, right, irrespective of what you choose to get involved in. And trust me, whatever you're involved in now, you're not going to be involved in, in probably three years time, probably five years time, probably 10 years time. Right. So it's important to build your brand, right? Not the brand, not the brand of the product in which you're promoting. The product is secondary. It's really all about you, especially in the online world, right? Where there isn't a lot of, uh, not a lot of help. There's, there's not a lot of support. There's, there's, it's quite cold, obviously, because we're, we're working on the internet. So the way you do it, the way you bridge that gap between you and your potential customer is to build your brand, right? And the way you, there's so many different things that you can do. Like me, for example, the, the very, very small thing that I do is, Hey, it's me, Sam, at the beginning of every single video. That's my me building my brand. It's something very, very small. But you tell me how many marketers online have this tattoo, right? I hope a little bulb just went off there. There is very easy and distinct ways that you can separate yourself from the market, and that's you building your brand, okay? So tip number three is list building. This is my focus every single day. This should be your number one focus as an online business builder, right? Because without a list you don't have no money. And your list can come in a number of different ways, right? It's not just in a traditional sense where like everyone signed up to your email. Nowadays, Facebook friends are a list. Um, uh, fat people who like your fan page are a list. People who subscribe to your YouTube channel are a list, right? 
obviously your email list is your number one priority. So try your best to push people towards your email list because then at that point, you've got them one-on-one. -on -one. When they open that email, it's literally you and them, right? There's no Facebook, there's no Instagram, there's no thousands of recommended YouTube videos that they can watch, right? And that's the beauty. You can really connect with people on a private space one-on-one -on -one, and that's your time that's your time to kind of really connect with them okay tip number four is relationship building so understand that <clears throat> uh building the uh building your list is important but if you have a list of ten thousand disengaged people it is a lot less powerful than a list of 50 people that are completely engaged all right so what I mean is it's not the size of the list that matters, it's the quality of the list, yeah? There are people with millions of people on their list, and then there's someone with, say, like 10,000, and the 10,000 absolutely destroys them because that person takes time every single day to develop the relationship which the, in, in, uh, that they're, sorry, they're taking time to develop the relationship instead of just trying to sell them bullshit products all the time, right? The power lies in the relationship. Guys, there's a reason why I come on and do videos every single day, right? Yes, it's to build my authority in this particular market and niche so that when people have questions, they come to me, but it is also relationship building. Understand that, that me, even if I get 10 seconds of your time, one minute of your time, you sitting here and listening to me, there's automatically a couple of switches going on. Either you're saying, this guy's full of shit and I don't like him, right? That's cool because you're actually calling my list on my behalf, right? So thank you very much. Or, uh, uh, so in other words, like polarizing the market, or you're saying, you know what, this is really interesting. I like this guy, right? Relationship building. That's where it really needs to be, especially online, okay? Very, very important. And tip number five to building a, prof a profitable business online, especially, is to monetize, right? So how you make money from your email list. You need to have a system that works really well on the back end because I'm telling you, selling small products like some people try to do, it's only gonna lead to long-term failure, right? I'm not knocking, yeah, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking on small ticket uh, items, right? If you, if you sell enough of $27 a month products, you can build a six-figure business just from doing that. Trust me, you can, I've seen it multiple, uh, a, multi a multitude of times, right? So, but my point is this, you need to have a system that's in place so that you're not working 24 seven to try and make the sales and try and get all the money. If you have a system and a team in place that actually knows what they're doing, they can help you build your business. They can help you make money. You understand how that works. So you, you, in other words, so you're picking a profitable niche, you're building your brand, you're list building, when you're list building, you're developing the relationship and then you're sending them through a sequence that's actually gonna help you monetize your list. And in doing so, you've got the five pillars of a successful online business. When you get all five of those things in line, the money will start coming in. And trust me, the most impressive thing or the, the, the coolest thing that comes from it is not the money that you're gonna make from setting up a profitable business, but the feeling that you're going to get from helping and making a difference in people's lives. You know, uh, I know it's a little bit, it's easy for me to say that, right? But I'm telling you guys, the best feeling is not the money. It, yeah, sure, it's great to look in your account. Oh, wow, I just made another thousand dollars. I had a $5,000 day. Yeah, trust me, it's exciting. It's really cool. But what's really, really awesome is when someone takes a minute and emails you and go, dude, like you've changed my fucking life. Like, I can't believe the value that you're giving. I can't believe the training that you offer. I can't believe that I haven't run into you before. When you get that sort of shit, that changes your life, everything. Your perspective completely changes, all right? You do absolutely have to have a monetizable product in line. You need to have big end, big uh, big profit products at the end because that's where the profits are actually gonna come in. The small money that you get in the beginning, those are just to help you break even with your actual marketing strategy, right? And then you make the money from the big ticket items on the back end, and that's where having a monetizable, uh, profitable system in place as tip number five, is really gonna help you out, all right? So look, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, the five tips, pick a profitable niche, build you incorporated, i.e. your brand, build your list, build your relationship with your list, and then monetize that, that list using a profitable, proven system, all right? So if you guys have any questions at all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Uh, just go ahead and ask your questions. I promise I will get back to you. I always do. If you'd rather a private conversation, inbox me. I'm always here for you guys. If you got any sort of value at all from this video, do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Or if you didn't get any value at all and you just wasted nine minutes and 40 seconds, give me an angry emoji. I'll take it. All right. Take care. Much love, everybody. I'll see you all again tomorrow. Peace.